family. Welcome back to my channel. We have not done a try on in a minute. And here's the thing. I just don't know when we will. I have been feeling so out of sorts in my body. I have been feeling so confused about what my style is right now. And I'm feeling so called to just purge so much and basically like rebuild from scratch. I'm not saying I'm getting rid of everything, but like looking at everything with fresh eyes and giving myself the opportunity of like, does this resonate with who I am now? Giving myself permission to change. I had a very inspiring conversation with a woman um, at a YouTube event recently. She's amazing. And she was just really like inspiring me to have fun with my style again. And like, I think, I think I'm just having a very, I'm just changing. I'm changing. And that's so normal. We change so many times in our lives. I think it was at Anise Nin. I need to like verify this quote, but she said like your goal is to shape shift as many times as possible in your life. Oh, there's my favorite neighbor. I don't know if she can see me. I love her. Yeah. So it's an interesting time. I'm really looking forward to continuing the declutter process. Uh, closet clean out by the time you watch this, like this has actually, it has actually begun. It's actually been filmed. And if I hadn't had that conversation with that woman, I don't know. Like, I feel like because it's happening now, like it's gonna be so different than it would have been. And everything happens in its own timing. I'm learning that you can't force certain things and that everything in its own time. We're all in our own timeline for all kinds of things. And right now I just feel very much on a timeline of evolution. I feel like I'm changing a lot and I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, I'm also looking at the camera right now. It looks like it is wonky. Well, that's, we're just having one of those days, okay? Uh, so anyway, all that to say, I have a few things that I haven't tried on yet. And then I'm just not sure, like depending on how the closet clean out goes, like, or if there's like a very specific piece I'm looking for. Like for me, I'm looking for like one of those kind of Peter Pan kind of blouses. I have one that I got from Amazon that has ties, but I'm, the quality is like, okay, not great. And it, it gaps. So anyway, I like, I'm kind of on the hunt for like a perfect everyday kind of blouse that I can just throw on that I know I'm gonna love. Like as my style is changing, I'm like, oh, I wish I had this, this, that and releasing this, this, that. So I'm just not sure. I can't make any promises about what's the state of the shopping or like try-ons is gonna be, but so many of you have encouraged me to just try on things from my own closet, share it, share styling. So there's going to be some of that. But today is like almost like, I guess just like the last bit of things that had come in that are like things to wear, uh, like clothing, new clothing items that were sent to me uh, as gifts. So unless otherwise stated, everything sent was sent by the brand as a gift. And all, but all opinions are my own because I haven't tried them on. I have no idea if they're gonna fit, what they are, etc. So we're trying on a very random assortment today. We're going to try on some things from Gymshark, which is like a <laughs> active loungewear brand. Some stuff from Cider. I think, oh, Selkie randomly sent me a couple of really beautiful dresses and a top. And we also got a bag from Banana Republic, a box. We also got a box from Banana Republic. So that's really exciting. I haven't worn Banana Republic for a really long time and I'm really excited to see what's in that box because everything I've seen that they've been doing is beautiful. Like it's just, when I was like a teenager, my friend worked there and like the only way we could ever get anything is because she had a discount. And now like it's, I, it's still really pricey. It's like, you know, sometimes you grow up and you're like, oh, that wasn't that expensive. I don't know what happened, but it is pricey. But the, it's so beautiful. Like everything is like sculptural and like, I just feel like they're having their renaissance. So I'm excited about that. That's everything because we are not, we are not shopping at the moment. Um, we are budgeting at the moment. And that's a whole nother thing to talk about. I'm working with a financial coach and we've been working through budget and it's just humbling, okay? It is humbling to learn about things that you don't know about and weren't taught about and to take responsibility for the way you've done it wrong for so long and to not let that shame spiral you and then kick yourself when you're down. Like I feel like I'm in this area of my life right now where I'm being asked to look at everything I've been avoiding. Health stuff, finally going to the doctor, which I shared with you guys about, like adulting stuff, taxes, like figuring out, like just all the things that used to make me be like avoid, avoid, I'm now like facing and I'm not gonna lie, it's not for the faint of heart. We were not one grow up, they said. It'll be fun, they said. No. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's not, it's, it can be cool sometimes, but at the same time, like, could we chill a little bit on all the things they expect of us? I've already mentioned that I've been listening, to, I listened to a podcast the other week. I mentioned about us, like it was by Martha Beck and uh, like the premise of it was there's less to do than you think. 
So I'm just really trying to like focus on the vital, focus on the important, and not overthink the rest. I'm really feeling loungewear. Let's get some loungewear on. But the problem is once I put that on, I may not want to take it off. So maybe we should start with something else. Okay, I actually have a couple disclaimers. Number one, some of this stuff's going to be wrinkly. I absolutely, I'm also giving you quite a view here. I cannot be bothered to steam right now. I'm on my period. I have cramps. And frankly, I can't be asked, so I'm not going to. Uh, so sorry, <laughs> but this, oh, and here's my other disclaimer. I actually, I did not, I said like everything was gifted. This is not, this is from Cider. And I hadn't, I purchased things from there once years and years ago. And then I was looking for a very specific piece that I've been looking for, which I will show you. And then they caught my eye and I was like, hmm, there's a few things that are like things I've looked for that haven't found in my size and they had in their curve section. One of which I almost wore the other day, but it, it doesn't fit, which you'll see is a little too snug. That's the only thing so far I've tried on. So I'm trying this full set on for the first time and the, I've tried two of these things on, but nothing else. So anyway, we're going to do a little first impression cider curve. Um, I spent like a hundred and something dollars uh, on, on all this. They're, they're very affordable. The bottoms are a 1X and the top is a 1X as well, I believe. And I wasn't sure about my sizing with them. One thing I've noticed is that each item has a different size chart. So if you're looking to know what would fit from them, make sure that you check your measurements against each separate item. Um, these are, I think that this everything fits really well. Like I think I got the right size. My only concern is this is kind of like pulling and gapping here. Oh! You guys, there's an interior button here. I did not realize that. Is there an interior button here? What's happening? Am I, is this wrong? I guess it can go either way. I don't understand, okay? Maybe, I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> there's like an extra button hole here. I think you can just button it to either side. That's an interesting, nope, there's an interior button here. Everything's fine. I'm totally smart enough to wear this. Maybe that will help the gapping issue. Also, I could wear a minimizer bra, but I seem to not be able to find mine. And also, why do we always have to minimize everything? But you know, the gapping is just not the move, but I was worried if I got a size bigger that it would just be like too boxy because I actually think that the way this fits is quite nice. It does need steaming, but I wear a lot of cohorts to events like, you know, and it's becoming to be like event season. So I just really feel chic and sophisticated and I just like to wear two pieces. So I also though would restyle these trousers with a bunch of different things, which you'll see because I'll wear them. I will be wearing some other things. So anyway, this is, this is the outfit. What do we think? It's a 1X. Um, I, I looked at a lot of the reviews and stuff. I think I'm going to keep this set. Um, there's definitely some things that are going to go back in this pile, but I really like this. And before you say anything, I had to get rid of a pair of trousers that I stained today or yesterday. Anyway, I had like a grease stain that would not come out of my trousers. So I actually am in the market for another pair of trousers. I feel like I went to like put them on for something to go out and I was like, cool, these don't fit. And now I have these one in one out, you know what I mean? It's an ever evolving journey. It's weird when you're like trained from birth to like equate shopping with self-esteem. I definitely do that. I was texting a friend about it today and we're both like on like, we like check in with each other when we're getting that shopping urge. And I like to build cards and not ex like not actually buy. Um, okay, so this is the piece that caused me to purchase in the first place. I have been looking for one of these really chic kind of vests that look really like put together. I like with this little peplum bottom. This is really cute. It is gapping just a little. Well, this is a wrinkle, but it's gapping a little like it's gaping. You know what I mean? So I really would need to either size up or do a minimizer bra with this, which is kind of annoying. But my thing is like the this is loose. So I don't and it's like right around my waist. So I really didn't want to size up because it needs to be very shapely. Like that's the look of it. So how bad is the gapping? Like if you saw it, would you be like, that looks horrible? Or would you just be like, meh? So I don't know. I wonder if I could get it reinforced or I'm not like, I could wear a bra that was like a little more compressive is another option, but I think this is so beautiful. It looks so elegant. And this is like when I got it, I was like, finally, I've been looking for this. And I've been looking for another piece that's kind of similar in denim. It's one of those things I've been looking for for a few months. And like I, ha I kept looking at this, didn't get it, da, da, da. I think they were having a sale or something. Anyway, I finally did get it and I do not regret it. This would be so cute with like a satin skirt, like a longer satin skirt, midi or maxi, jeans, trousers, like you name it even shorts like it's just really it's just such a nice piece that looks so expensive and elegant and it's not i mean it's elegant yes but expensive no this is another one of those things that i keep seeing it like all different brands sorry about that jingling okay it's just gonna be a little like 
calming zen moment. He's playing, I tucked his little like worm toy in the sofa over his little scratching post so he could play with it on his own. It's working. It's keeping him occupied. Uh, this is just another one of those sets that's like something I've been looking for for a long time. It's like that chic, almost like Chanel-ish, like classic look. And they, it's so hard to come by in any kind of plus size. I have not found it in any kind of plus size uh, of this like nice tweed kind of material, um, but it doesn't fit. So it's a, this is, I feel like I just need to size up. Their sizing is so confusing, um, even according to the reviews and anyone I've talked to. Uh, this is so, who's coming out here? Oh, Brian, my friend, sorry. I shouldn't say name my friends across the street. Cut that out. Me staring at my neighbors all the time. Uh, I just think this looks so cute, but it's too, it's a little too small. I think I need to size up. Vote and let me know if this is given the vibes I think it is. Um, but it is going to be returned for now. I would love to repurchase it, but we'll see. I just need to size up. So these are a 1X. I think I need to do a 2X. And this is, I think, a 0X top or 1X. I'll confirm in a second. And I think the top, I just want it to be a little looser because it's doing a gaping thing here. And I just think like a little looser, but these pants do not fit. Like they do not fit. They are like so snug. Like they would just be so tight if I zipped them and I don't even want to try. But like the thigh and everything's okay. It's just like right here. So I feel like I would just be a lot comfortable if they were just kind of a little bit more trousery. But this is cute, right? I'm just like really feeling, I love wearing whites and creams. It's just, it feels chic. But anyway, like I said, the sizing is obviously wrong. These are cute. Oh my gosh. If you, I've been wanting these in blue, but I guess that this reddish will do. I just love like a casual cozy pant like this. And I'd ordered some from Zara a couple months back. And I just always keep my eye out for things like this because this is what I find myself reaching for more and more. These are so cute. These are also a 1X and I think they fit perfectly. They're so cute and comfortable. A little bit chic, a little elevated. Love these. I think they come in other colors as well. Uh, I was not expecting these to be a success. This was kind of a gamble. These fit so well. These are also a 1X. They're just like elevated shorts. They come with this belt, which is, it's a separate piece and they come with it. Don't mind the fact that I have my little like skims bodysuit under here because you can see the back. But these are so chic and cute. I would totally wear this like into fall with like, I'm imagining it with like a cozy little sweater and boots because I'm in LA. It's been like in the 80s and 90s and it will continue to be pretty hot here through October sometimes. I remember in the past years, I've gone to the beach in like December. So yeah, I like, I think that these are so cute and I just think they can be dressed so many ways and like can always use a nice pair of shorts. It is so hard to find shorts that fit my body, which I've talked about on this channel at no, like to no end. So I'm really excited about these. They're so good. Feels good to find things actually like in my body. Okay, I think I got cut off. I was saying that it's like tough to find when you're just not feeling good in your body. So I will say quality wise, these feel like they feel pretty thin, but like, I think they look good quality. Like I think it looks better than feel like it doesn't, it's not bothering me. Um, that two piece set was nice and lined. I thought that the lining was good. It wasn't see-through. The fabric quality was like fine. Like I would say it's kind of like a Zara-esque quality, which I know is not like the best. Those pants feel like a little higher quality. Those could be Gap even, uh, maybe even old navy quality. So yeah, it's kind of like, so far the quality, I'm not like appalled, which I have been on other sites that are really inexpensive. Okay, this is my Carrie Bradshaw moment. Um, I was thinking about being Carrie Bradshaw for Halloween. So if I am, this would be part of it. If I'm not, I'm gonna style the shit out of this, like a little sweatshirt or an oversized tee. It's a really cute tool skirt. It looks like free people for a fraction of the cost. And I'm very much feeling it. Um, I think I got a zero X in this as well, or an extra large. This is a, a zero X. Probably could have done like a one X in this. It's not, it's like, it's just like, this was like a little rigid pulling over my hips, but you can't, let me go look in the mirror. I'm not gonna say you can't, cause like, I don't know. I thought that this was like creating a crease here. And when I pull it like here, it's not, it's fine. Um, I could size up if I wanted. I'm not really too pressed about it. I think it, I think it works. I could exchange it for a size. It's, I mean, it's like, it's loose here it's just a little like when i pull it lower it's a little tight in the butt area and like the hips story of my life but i think it works i don't want it to be like super i don't this part's pretty loose and i don't really want this to be like really big so i think it's good i got some news i'm seeing the golden light out there the sun's going down early it's getting dark earlier here and i'm feeling really called to the outdoors i think i need to go take a walk so this is my compromise i'm gonna try on the gym shark stuff and then we're gonna do a separate video for selkie banana republic because those are kind of more on the similar price point anyway and i feel like this these are more aligned so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do another video sorry to excuse me sorry to tease you 
but it's just gonna be more videos, more content. So I will shoot that tomorrow when the light's better. Um, and who knows what else we're gonna shoot. I'm just, I'm feeling optimistic, okay? Um, but that will be coming up. So hold on, let me get the, let me get the loungewear because secretly I just wanna wear that on my walk. I guess it's not a secret because I just told you. Okay, so I got this little loose crop top. Um, they, this was sent to me as PR. They reached out and asked, I've never tried it before. And they were like, do you wanna try a few pieces? And so I sent them a couple links and they, I'll show you what they sent me. Um, but they sent me these sweat shorts, which I do think are super cute. I just like, this is like my seasonal fit when this transition weather, if you've watched me for years, I always have sweat shorts and like a sweatshirt set that I just like live in around this time of year. Cause like in the daytime, I like to like lay in the yard and get some sun on my legs. And then when I take my little walk, it gets colder. So this is like one of my favorite. Cause sometimes sweatpants are too heavy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep going into it. This is, I don't necessarily know if I'd wear these together, but I am right now, but this is just like a cute little crop loose tank. It's cute. Shorts are cute. This sweatshirt, however, I'm really enthusiastic about this band. Like, do you see how it's like the, like it's, it's got like a bungee bottom. What's, come on, help me, elasticized. An elasticized bottom hem. That sounds very official, but oh yes. Oh, I really do. I have a white sweat set that is had for a couple years. It's meshki and it's like oversized and delicious. And I burned a hole in it and I somehow, it somehow like went away. Don't ask me how, but it has been through some things. And so I'm like very happy to have an alternate for that. Cause it's just, I keep reaching for it. So yeah, this little waistband is cool. Cause you can put it here and it like creates more of a shape than just being long or you can like do it here and it's like a little bubble. So that's cool. Or you can pull it down. I have to go verify how this looks. Oh, if you're seeing the tripod move, it's because there's a cat attached to the bottom of it. Sorry. Yes, we like, we like her. We like her. This is very cute. Um, have you guys worn Gymshark? I'm just like queen of sweats. As you know, it's like my favorite thing to wear. So I'm gonna wear this on my walk right now. Bold move considering I'm on my period, but you know, we like to live on the edge. Okay, so this is the bummer about this. These, it's like um these really cute green ribbed shorts. Oh, thank you, light. We have our stuff on a timer, so it's very yellow. Sorry, but we're gonna get through it. They, I think they sent these in an extra large and they just look so small and so tight that I cannot bring myself to put them on. I cannot. Well, these are a 2XL. That's unfortunate. God, they would compress to the heavens. If I had the, if I had it in me, I would try them on, but I am so sorry, I don't. I don't have it in me. But I'll show you the like, it's this really like pretty marled kind of green. But what got me about this is the top. Also, I was only expecting them to send one set. This top is very cute. It's like a little built-in bra top and it's got this square neck. So it just looks like, it's just, I like, I don't know. I just like an interesting shape sports bra. And so many of them dip so low and I have such a big chest that I'll be doing like, you know, some normal movement, downward dog, or just bending down to pick up my keys that I probably dropped and a will flop out. So I just had high hopes for this, but I will not be able to try this on until my period has concluded because I am not gonna subject myself to that, okay? And you shouldn't either. So anyway, now my living room's a mess. It is hard to stay on top of being tidy. Uh, thank you for watching. This was a bit chaotic. What else is new? I really just need to go get some fresh air and take a walk. It's like my body is like, please let me get some air while it's still light out. So I'm gonna do my little nighttime routine, which if you've been following me here and seeing some of my vlogs, this is kind of what I do to end the night to kind of like signify the ending of a work day and the beginning of like, playtime as Sparky and I call it. So I take a little walk, I tidy to some music, I set the music uh, of the house and I like put on my little oil diffuser or light a candle and just like create a vibe so that when he comes home, we're in like relaxed mode. Um, we cook dinner together, have dinner together. And I'm feeling like we might sit outside tonight. We like to like put the lights out and like sit on the front porch and it's a whole moment. It feels like we're sitting at our own little restaurant for two. So anyway, I'm going to, get on that thanks for watching so yes i will do the selkie banana public try on it's gonna be more unboxing i truly i haven't opened it i have no idea what's in the box so that will be a fun surprise as you know closet clean out has is is has been now filmed and ha is in the works so i'm not sure the order of what things are going to go up in but just trust it's all coming okay i'm sending you guys so much love please take good care of yourself don't put on shorts that are too tight or uncomfortable you don't want to take a bath take a walk call a friend voice memo a friend journal light the nice candle eat off the nice plate so what does that look like for you take care of yourself tonight i love you i'll see you guys soon bye